Hi, and welcome to the crew show. I know it's a bit unexpected, but let me introduce myself. You may have seen me in the first show explaining to myself or to you, a certain individual, exactly what the crew show means. Well, today we have a bit of an unexpected turn. <laughs> yes, the boys are on holiday, although I'm not too sure exactly where, but apparently our old Jeff... My name is Jeff. Where does the sound come from? Every time you say the name Jeff, that sound comes in. It's very strange, very odd. But anyway... As I was saying, old Jeff, he's uh, out in Yang Rai having the time of his life. I'll pop on some pictures. showed me indulging in wonderful meals and dancing and swimming in lakes that they call beaches in Chiang Rai, absolutely confusing. <laughs> and uh, old Mike, well, well, apparently he's gone to a very exotic island. Uh, what's the name of the island? Uh, Hong Nam. <laughs> yes, the toilet. But my name is Som Bodhi, Bodhi, Som Bodhi, whatever you want to call me. You can call me Som, you can call me Bodhi, any name goes right here. Yeah? But right here, we'd like to welcome you to the crew show. Show for expats all around Thailand and beyond. You may be wondering, why were we called to do this? Well... We had nothing better to do, and especially during this fantastic holiday season. <laughs> Songkran. And to talk about Songkran and have lots of fun in the studio, I got two very special guests. To my left, we have a very popular lad. Of course, uh, he was asked a very important question about Klong Tori. Klongtori, not too sure how to pronounce that. His name is Poo. Say hi, Poo. Hi, my name is Poo. I come from Thailand. I'm 38 years old. I'm very happy to be here at the Clue Show. I think I'm not come back no more, but I come. <laughs> I come every day. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> And to uh, my right, which will be your left, yeah, we have a very peculiar man. First time appearing on the cruise show. Uh, he comes all the way from the United States of America. And uh, he, he's going to introduce himself to you. Well, howdy, everybody. <laughs> my name is Dubba Bubba. My full name is Jane. That's my short name, Dubba Bubba. <laughs> yeah, I come, uh, something that I don't know where it come from, but, you know, a short-term memory. <laughs> I'm right here, and I'm going to have a great time on the cruise show. What's up? Uh, what's your body? Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there you go, folks. We have yeah, Poo and we have Bubba Dubba on my right-hand side. What are we going to talk about today? Well, of course, Songkran. A very important weekend. And uh, what is it all about? Loads of people think it's all about getting wet. But it's more than that. 
Absolutely. Let me take you down the history of Songkran right here in Thailand. Basically, Songkran Song Song is beautiful time. Thai New Year. Sabadee Pi Mai. Yeah, fine. You can explain it. It, it. You go and get wet and you get a blessing. It wash away all your sin. It's very, very good. Yeah, very good time. Yeah. It, it's very good. A lot of fun. A lot of drinking. <laughs> So tell me. <laughs> oh, jolly good. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Pooh, for that uh, understanding of what Songkran is all about. <laughs> but for me personally, I love, I absolutely well, love. You know, <laughs> it's funny talking about say? that. You know, I like to get all wet. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get wet in all sorts of circumstances. I see. You know, I like to get wet in the summer. I like to get wet in the winter. I just like to get wet. <laughs> I like to see other people get wet at times as well. <laughs> you know, wet, wet is the new dry. <laughs> Well, personally, it's all about me getting wet as well. <laughs> but of course, a very significant, deep, wonderful time this time of the year, right here in Thailand. And also, besides being any really soaked wet, it's absolutely scorches outside. There's no better way to enjoy it than with an absolute amazing gunfight. Yes, a water fight, not gunfight. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be absolutely disastrous. Well, I tell you what. Uh, the the uh, water fight, yes, the water fight uh, happens around Bangkok and okay. around the country, actually. Loads of people are going up north this time of the year to uh, escape uh, the craziness in Bangkok, which leaves Bangkok absolutely quiet. I hear uh, there's lots of water gunfights happening. Uh, in fact... Uh, d- doesn't, uh, poo mean, doesn't poo mean to go to the toilet? <laughs> Who goes to talk a little <laughs> poo? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, the man himself, Re, took his family on a bit of a shopping expedition to buy some Songkran gear. Let's see what good old Re has in store for us. Good luck, Terry. Uh, uh, possibly a bit more footage a bit later on. Uh, if he uh, reaches uh, Siam, where he's going to go for the water fight of a lifetime. Well, boys, uh, you know, we, uh, we're we going to keep this short and simple. <laughs> it's not the first time I heard about that short and simple. Now, what could be hotter than the Thai heat. Like well, I've got something very special for you, and I hope that each and every one of you could share this with me. I've got an extra special hot, hot something really hot. Well, 
There we go. What's this? Yes, the bomb. <laughs> Now, those of you that may be familiar with the YouTube channel, Hot Ones, where uh, the young man right there gets a host of celebrities to come through and talk about themselves while eating spicy hot wings. Now, the sauce that always gets them and always seems to burn a second arsehole in them is the bomb. So, ladies and gentlemen, right here at the crew show, we're going to turn up the heat for Song Grand this year, and we're going to get our two fine gentlemen a chance to try the bomb. The only difference is there's going to be no wings to wash it down with. Absolutely. No water, no wings, just plain sauce straight from the bloody bottle. <laughs> What do you think about that? Oh, I eat pet, pet, mark, mark. I eat a lot of pet food. You're kind of used to spicy food, aren't you? What about you? Well, I'll tell you what. I was born. I was born with hot peppers in my mouth. <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Bean peppers oh, in my mouth well. as well, sometime between. <laughs> well, we, we, we don't know. We don't really want to hear uh, exactly what you had in your mouth from the time of birth and in between as, w as well. <laughs> but anyway, folks, coming back to the bomb, the hot ones. Yes, this is going to be absolutely, uh, I had it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, silly me. The bomb. Yes. Oh, my God. I love it. Uh, in fact, I had a bit of it from the bottle already. I can cope with it. But can these two gentlemen cope? Maybe today it could be a different story for me. I'm going to go first, and then we're going to give it to these other gentlemen to dry out. <laughs> oh, made a splashing sound. Absolutely deadly. There we go. Bottoms up. Happy song, Gran. Sawadee <laughs> Pimai. Jolly good. What's in this? Okay. It's made of ghost pepper. Absolutely. Pure ghost pepper. The bomb. I might have to explode very shortly anyway. Absolutely amazing. But you know, I, I have a fast recovery rate.
Now, which one of you two uh, (laughs) men would like to go first? I don't mind if I do. Oh, yabba dabba, dabba dabba yabba, whatever your name is. Would you like to go first? Okay, fantastic. Go ahead. Where's yours? Let's see what this bomb is all about. Damn, it's even getting my mustache to fall off. My God. That's that extra hot. Even Uncle Dean's peppers wasn't that hot in my mouth. My God. I'll take Uncle Dean's pepper anytime, popping them in my mouth. Oh, my God. It's so hot. Oh. oh ghost pepper. Oh, my God. I'll be a ghost after this. I'll be a ghost after this. Oh, my God. My mustache is even falling off. My God. What am I gonna do? Oh my God! In the, in the water? Oh my God! In the water? Oh, Ooh-oy. oh my God! Oh, <laughs> my mustache. Save yes, my I tell you, it's absolutely mind blowing. So oh my God! Save my mustache. It's earth shattering. In fact, it's making me sweat right here. What easier way to get wet than having some the bomb? There we go. Another another way to get wet here in Thailand. And Pooh, are you ready? For okay. the bomb. There we go. The bomb. Ooh. It's really exciting. I love Somtam. Somtam. Hello, I pet pet, mark, mark. C- calm <laughs> down there, mate. You really have to calm down, seriously. It's absolutely... You finish in the bottle. I need a bit of that. I need the bottle again. Absolutely, I need that bottle again. What's wrong with you? Don't finish all of it. Man, what's wrong with your stomach? You're not going to have two arseholes. You're going to have four arseholes by the time you're done with that. Absolutely. Are you done? (laughs) My God. It's absolutely devastating. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The bomb. Oh, it's broke me out into a, a mass of sweat. Oh. But, come back to Song Grand since we're all wet and appropriate for this time of the year. Let me tell you a bit more about this wonderful activity. Yeah, boy. The word Song from, from the Sanskrit word Samkranti, literally astrological passage, meaning transformation or change. The term was borrowed from Makar Sankranti, the name of a Hindu harvest festival celebrated in India in January to mark the arrival of spring. It coincides with the season of Aries on the astrological charts and with the new year of many calendars of South and Southeast Asia in keeping with the Buddhist Hindu solar calendar. In Thailand, New Year's is officially celebrated on the 1st of January. Okay, keeping up with the times, yes. <laughs> Songkran was the official New Year until 1988 when it was switched to the fixed date of 1st of April. I'm absolutely boiling in here. Then in 1940, this date was shifted to 1st January. <laughs> My glasses are getting fogged up. The traditional Thai New Year, Songkran, was transformed into a national holiday. So, I guess they made up their mind and decided that the New Year is actually on the 1st of January and Songkran became a national holiday. Well, there we go, folks. Very short and simple, very weird cruise show. We do hope that you enjoy this wonderful journey with us and we're hoping that in the future you'll get to see a bit more of us. Of course, once MG comes back from Hongnam, and GB comes back from, where's he gone again? Oh, yes, <laughs> Chiang Rai. And, well, of course, Ri survives the massive onslaught of the water fight in Siam. Well, you never know. The boys could be back next week. Well, from myself, Bodhi, some Bodhi, Thank you for joining us right here at the cruise show. Closing words, boys. I want to wish uh, all the viewers out there very happy Songkran. Remember, up to the 16th, government make a long holiday. Very nice. Very good. And uh, be safe. Don't forget to uh, leave some uh, uh, lao for me. Very good. 
<laughs> and uh, some beer. I'll be coming to her house very soon, very soon. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. Pooh and Dabba Yaba, yeah, yeah, what, no, whatever your name is. Well, my closing words, well, I, I, I like, I like to tell all of you that, you know, uh, you, um, you have to sound, sound grand. That's, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> oh, short, sweet, and simple. There we go, folks. That's me. This is The Crew Show. Remember to live, love, laugh. <laughs> Every day of your lives. Thank you for joining us. Good night, and see you next week, Monday. Well, not, not us, maybe, maybe us, maybe not. <laughs> but it'll be re M and GB. Good night, and have a happy, happy song cry. Happy song cry. Sawadee Bye now.